Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this fun and easy effect here inside of Photoshop Elements Guided Edits. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon a couple of times to get notifications of my new videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's get to it. We'll be doing this guided edit effect on this black and white image. You can do this on either black and white or on color, but I especially like how this works on black and white. It works out very, very well. If you want to work with the same image, you can download this from my website. There's a link for that in the description. Okay, let's go up here to the guided tab right there. And then we're in the fun edits section. Notice we have basics, color, black and white, fun edits, special, and photo merge. So here in fun edits, and the one you want is right here, that's the effects collage. Click on this one, and this opens up this trick. Now this is a real fast one, but there are a few variations in here that you should know about. First off, you can see here we have kind of a basic look at what's gonna look like up here. What you do is you decide how many sections you want, and then you set a style for that. You can also come down and adjust the intensity. I like to go through and just take a look at the different sections and see how they divide the image up. There is a vertical, horizontal and a box effect. Here's three sections. So go through, look at your image and see how it works with these different divisions. Now this works out pretty well actually, this three sections works out well for this particular photograph. Different photographs will look better with different sets. Like that one's no good for instance. And that's kind of weird, it's chopping the teddy bear up down there is no good. Let's go to our four sections. I kind of like this one, it puts a bit of a focus on the girl, we'll be using this one for this. There's also this one here. Another possible option, there's more space over here on the right hand side for her. This might actually work a little bit better. And there are three boxes across the bottom, which I don't like quite as much. So our choices then are this one, four sections, or more traditional one right there. We'll go for the four sections just because it gives us more color variations in here. So once you have decided on your layout, then come down to the next section down here where you choose a style, and you'll see several different options in here based upon that division that you selected. So there's one. We'll skip this one. We'll be using this one as our final, so I'll come back to that. I'll show you the rest of these, though. There's some real nice looks in here. Some are more subtle than others. Some are more dramatic. We're going with the, one of the more dramatic ones for our final. That's kind of subtle. Just a color change. Here's just a contrast change. A little bit of color, but not much on that one. Here's the next one. This has a lot of color to it but not a lot of an effect applied. Some of these have effects applied, some of these just have color shifts in them. I'll point out some of the effects when they come across those. This has a bit of an effect right down in here. You can see that kind of a rainbow effect happening down there. So it's an easy way, as you can see, to come in and really add in some interest very quickly into a black and white image. This one is kind of a blurry effect. Down here is a streaky effect, so it's applying effects onto the image as well. So you really need to go through and check every single one and see what they look like. That's kind of strange looking. Might work on some pictures though, just not very well on this one. Come an old fashioned effect in here. And here's our last one. Again, an old fashioned kind of a scratchy effect in there. Okay, let's go back to the one that we skipped over, which is my personal favorite for this particular image. And that's this. It adds a lot of Interesting color variations in here. Let's just switch this over here to the other vertical effect. We try this one and we'll try that same setting. Okay, I like this one better because we have more of an effect happening in here. It's more visible of an effect on the main part of the image. Let's just take a look at this and see how it looks on that three. So we're just checking our options. And here's the three vertical. Very traditional layout for this one. And I'll try that one right here. A lot of color. I don't like that quite as much, actually. So I think we'll stick with that four sections and with the first one and then going for that second option right there. Okay, once you've decided on your basic format, your layout, and also on your effects, you can come down here. This is an optional and you can adjust how strong the effects are. Pull this back to the left 
and you can make the effects more subtle if you want to. So you have an option here to just kind of control things. I'll leave it clear to the top for a real strong effect. Okay, once you have decided on all of your settings, click on the next button. And in here we can choose to save it, do a save as. I always go for save as, just give it a different name so that I don't overwrite my original image. We can go back to expert mode or quick mode, or go right to Flickr or Twitter. I'll go to expert, and here we go. We can also now see exactly what has happened in here. If I hide this top group and hide that, there's the original image. It came in and placed this mat on top and kind of combined that onto that one image. It then used those sections, you can see up here in this group, used those sections to create masks and clip out the pieces of the image and then apply effects onto those pieces. Now at this point, if you want to, you can do more effects and hear more things. It's all divided up into sections, so it's real easy. For instance, right down here, these two images here, this is that box right there. The main box is right here. It's these two layers right here. So I can come back in and I could adjust those. I can actually remove that effect back to black and white, put it back in again. So once you're in edit mode, you can come back and really take this even further by doing more work in here if you want to on those different sections. But there you go. Again, real fast, real easy, but can add a lot of interesting color and kind of excitement into a plain black and white image. Also try it on color. It, it works well on color as well. With a color, I kind of prefer going for the black and white effects as opposed to the color effects. With a black and white picture, I kind of tend to lean towards adding color into the black and white. But there you go. That's a guided edit. Take a look at that one again. Guided right here. And it's this first one there, effects collage. If you had fun with this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on share. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And again, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.